this was opened in 2003. Uh, we have uh, coffee, ice cream, sandwiches, food, um, music every Saturday night, um, 50,000 used and new books. Uh, we have our local art. We do all sorts of meetings and things go on there. And it's become a good, great community gathering place and we feel very blessed to be a part of the community through, through the cafe. How did you choose Munising? You know, um, my husband has family history up here. His great-grandfather was a sheriff of Marquette County. And when he was little, he spent uh, all of his time here uh, in the summers. And, and his grandparents had a place on Walloon Lake down near Petoskey, but he spent a lot of time in the UP. So we came to visit, and we sort of fell in love with this little cabin here on Powell Lake where we we bought, uh, which was sort of a shambles when we got it, but uh, we, we, and then that was in 2001, and then we moved here full time in 2003. Um, we just love, we just fell in love with it. <laughs> well, we've been reading the newspaper clippings and uh, learning more and more about Falling Rock, and it seems as though you guys have just really become a major part of this community. You've done so much to enliven, and and when you bought that place, though, it was not a coffee shop. It was an there. old bar um, that had been actually shut down for a couple of years, and that needed a ton of work too. So we've been pretty much evolving since we started. You know, we just keep. You know, there's always something to fix up and change, and we're not afraid of change. Somebody said that to us one day. You guys are not afraid of change. We just continually updating and seeing what works and what doesn't work, and evolving. And yeah, I think uh, it's been a great, great adventure. It's been. Huge how many how many years have you been here now? Since 2003, um, we opened. 2003. So this is our eighth summer. Okay. Sorry, summer. Yep. And, wow. Uh, it's been just great. Now it's June 10th. Is this when the are you starting to see more people coming into the area now? Yes. Right. Oh, usually around Memorial Day, it really uh, picks up considerably from the winter, and then starting around June 15th, we really start seeing a lot of uh, families and visitors and and uh, they come in for the for the boats and the lake and the <laughs> beaches and do you get to spend much time out on the lake yourself um well, on the big lake and lake yeah. superior we live on a small lake here on which lake we Powell. love yeah. and yes we do get we do get to enjoy the big lake the lake superior um it's funny i think you know i i um i always enjoyed water by growing up uh well, I grew up in Long Island, um, but then uh, the beach in Florida since I was 13, and so I've always been around water. But the but the lake here has this sort of effect on you that it just it's very calming. It's peaceful. I want to be near it. Um, it makes you want to. It just has sort of a cumulative effect. I think is the word. It sort of really impacts your um, inner peacefulness. And you came up from Florida. We moved here from Florida. Amazing. So from Florida and the ocean to Lake Superior in a little bit different winters, a little bit different climate. Hugely different in the winter. There's no doubt about that. And, and different in the summer because it's so hot there in Florida and here you can really enjoy the summer. But I love the ocean, but I love Lake Superior. There's no salt, there's no seaweed, and there's no sharks. <laughs> so <laughs> Not bad. I love it. What a threesome. <laughs> and how about the people that come here? Do you find them in love with the lake? or? I Yes. People are amazed at the beaches and how beautiful they are and amazed at um, how, how beautiful the water is, how clear the water is, and how wonderful it is to swim in, even though it's, it can be very cold. Yep. But people swim in it, you know, that does not stop people, we swim in it. <laughs> um, and so I think, yes, the visitors are drawn to this area by the lake, no doubt. And the people that live here are in love with the lake. Yes. Um, there's no doubt about that. And w now that you've been here, would you consider going back to Florida, or is this it? Oh, gosh. You know, we're here. <laughs> this we're is it. here, yeah. We're, and your husband works at Michigan State. He works at Michigan State University, so he does travel during the week to go to work. Um, I, I work as an, another job as an RN as well. Um, and that's that's good for us, too, you know, to mm -hmm. keep to stay in our professional careers, <laughs> you know, as well as doing the cafe. And how did you come up with the name Falling Rock? That is from an old uh, legend that Jeff's father told them when they were small. 
and I always, I'm not very good at telling the story, but um, <laughs> I do have it written, I can give it to you, but, um, but when he was little, his father, see, and his father died the year that we decided to do all this, and um, so, but anyway, and, and Jeff told the story at the funeral, it was about an um, Indian princess who, let's see if I can get this right, I don't know if you want to keep this in here or edit it, but, um, <laughs> They, uh, she named her baby Falling Rock, and then the baby was, uh, the small child was lost. So she would write in the rocks, you know, please watch for Falling Rock. And then when the men came in to build the highways in honor of the, the baby, they kept the signs, watch for Falling Rock. <laughs> so it's, you know, and if you Google Falling Rock, you will see multiple versions of that story. Oh, that's great. Um, that's but that's funny. the one that Jeff was told, and then, you know, as his dad passed away, and we were reminiscing about his dad, we decided we would name it Falling Rock. Ah, okay. What are your concerns about the lake and the area? Um, that's so hard to say because I'm so thinking about the positive things. But mm -hmm. um, I think, um, you know, I, I, I did your survey and I have to say I didn't know a lot of the answers, so I hope to get more educated. But I think... Uh, I guess the water levels have been talked about as a problem, mm -hmm. um, the warming issue, mm -hmm. um, I guess pollution is always an issue. It always is, yes. You know, so I just hope we can keep it as a great resource and it can be yep. our friend and our, you know, it can be the enemy in times of bad weather, you know, it's people a have definitely out there, lost right? their lives on, on the lake and you need to respect and honor that part yep. of the lake. But, well, we have loved being here. We appreciate so much your generosity, this wonderful cabin, uh, being at the cafe and bookstore, uh, which we now have a heavier car because I bought so many books from you. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of treasures in there. Old they treasures. are wonderful, and we're, and we're just we're loving this. It's just been an excellent place for us. We, Thank you so much. We loved having you speak at the cafe. We really appreciate it.